How you doing? How you doing? So I saw Hood Secretary and the only African American cabinet member associated with those whack racist Donald Trump being Carson's do his tap dancing pull string part role again, talking about when he was uh, and he is a respected neurosurgeon back in and when he was in Baltimore, John Hopkins University, and I did respect his story. I just don't get down with his politics and his ideology because he talks like he's so way out. But anyway, he just quoted as saying that he agrees with Trump and infested infested areas in Baltimore and how he wished he could help accept some of the patients because they had to go back in those conditions and stay a little bit longer. But he didn't say anything about Trump's son in law, slumlord Jerry Kushner, who has properties there. And he said nothing about that. He says that he talked to Trump and they were going to talk about working on the conditions and stuff. But I'm like, where was this at before you got, before you ran your cornball race, which anybody would have for brand new, you weren't even going to get a half of a dime of support, let alone have a chance to get the nomination. Ben Carson, I respect what he did in the medical profession. I will give him his due. His story is quite incredible and all that. But his, uh, like I said, his ideology and his political situation leaves a lot to be desired. It's just, it's like, I don't know what, where his brother come from as far as like some of them takes. But it's definitely off V's way into a beyond where I don't even think it can quite be cohesive or make any sense. But anyway, um, this just another example of where you just have to shake your head and you roll your eyes because you're trying to figure out where this turkey's coming from. It's like, man, are you for real? If you knew a place was infested or something, but like so your run for presidential nomination and you'll get secure secretary and all that and have, you know, but you won't even talk about it in the local level or bring that up. Not until now that here you come out. I'm like, if you ain't the biggest puppet tap dancing, hell on, I don't know. Cause I'm like, man, should have kept that one to yourself. Ben Carson really should have. And don't tell nobody what's up with that. But, Anyway, that doesn't shock or surprise me, though, because uh, he, you know, like I said, some of those things that he didn't see, it, it just, you just shake your head. And right now, he's like a low-budget version of Clarence Thomas on the, on the poll and the conservative. And I'm like I said before, you can be black and conservative and all that, but you got to have real ideology to balance stuff out. You got to make sense. You just can't be trying to sound like you self-hating and self-loathing. And that you just are running away from who you are in the mirror. So I don't know where he's coming from with that. But anyway, that's my take about Ben Carson trying to defend Trump's comments uh, towards Elijah Cummins. Give me your thoughts, your take about that, how you feel about it. Feel free to hit, uh, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell ring. This is a new video. I'm out.